Hey, Coach Kim here. Glad today to speak with you on how to avoid the victim mentality. Personally, I'm tired of the victim mentality and the excuse of thons that I witness on a regular basis. This is why I minimize my television watching and take very alert care about what I allow to enter into my personal space. The victim mentality is more contagious than the latest strain of a flu virus. And consequently, I'm here to encourage you to do likewise. Guard your mind, guard your heart, guard your spirit, protect your ear gates and your eye gates. There's a story in the Holy Scriptures that tells of an Old Testament shepherd who had a certain group of his sheep focus on a particular uh, type of branch during a ritual. Ritual. Every time they went to water, he would place the branch, a type of it, it was speckled before their eyes. Though this was the height of manipulation, as they looked at this branch and mated, they produced certain speckled offspring. This conniving shepherd had actually hit pay dirt and it allowed him a leg up. Instead of having a victim mentality where he was controlled, he designed a situation to create a more favorable outcome. So my question to you is, what, pray tell, are you focusing on? What are you staring at, pondering, and ingesting day in and day out? Whatever that thing is, it is most likely to reproduce itself itself either in your spirit or in your environment. The victim mentality does not want you to know this, but I'm going to tell you, you are in control. Choose today what you will focus on. Your choice, whether it's conscious or subconscious, will create decay or it will create life. And here is quite the news flash. Contrary to popular belief, you are in the best seat in the house to actually change your stinking thinking today, not next week, not when the economy gets better, not when you move into a better neighborhood, but today. Why would you wait to start feeling better about yourself? Feeling better will actually lead to doing better, which will lead to being better. You, my friend, are in full control to your reaction and to your input. And I know that's not what victims like to hear. See, if I acknowledge your right to control your input, that means that I am agreeing that you can have a major hand in your output. And to be honest, that might be downright scary for some. To say to that, I'm, I'm saying, please consider the alternative. Embracing the victim mentality is like sitting in the sidecar of a motorcycle. You're traveling through life at breakneck speed, hoping the driver doesn't lose control. And if he does, you can at least blame him. Beloved, I beseech you to get behind the wheel. Take control of your space, your race, and your pace. This is your journey. This is your time to get it right. And if you mess up, at least you can look in the mirror and say, I did my best, I gave it my all, and I learned some lessons. I can do an even better job the next time. And with bold com confidence, you can turn your back on that victim mentality. It was never meant to do you any good in any way. I am looking forward to your collection of successes. And as Coach Kim, I promise you the best is yet to come. See you on the next video.